morning. Hello and welcome to The Connection Couch. My name is Reg. And I'm Jo. And today we're talking about how to create better posts on LinkedIn. Ooh. Okay, Jo, let's have a hypothetical. Okay. My name's Bob. Hello, Bob. <laughs> My name's Bob. And I'm a commercial lawyer. Okay. I'm based in Oz, Australia. Yeah. And I would like to grow my business because I'm relatively new in business of my own. Um, but I want to build um, visibility and trust. Okay. Okay. So that's what that's the that's the okay. that's your task for today. That's our task. Okay. So how do we do that? Well, we have a special little thing, little nugget. Okay. That we're going to keep to the end. Yes, we do. Because that's the rules in YouTube, isn't it? Totally. Um, so we're we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll get to that near the end. So hang around. But. Let's elaborate on Bob's problem. Okay, so Bob's problem, he needs trust visibility, he needs clients, how can he use LinkedIn? Correct. That's what you're asking me. Uh, yes. Look how I summarise that really succinctly. Um, why, why am I here? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so, the best way to create trust and visibility on LinkedIn is content, as in posting. Right. Posting regular updates of content on through your profile to LinkedIn. Okay. Yeah, so there you go, just start posting. Just Bob. post. Okay, what do I post, Joe? <laughs> that not that the biggest question everybody asks you? What do I it post? It is. So, I mean, you might be thinking, I'm a lawyer, what I do is pretty boring to everybody else. But is it? Is it really boring? Or is it that you think it's boring? I mean, oh, you no, probably it's, don't. It's pretty boring. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, commercial contracts might be a bit tedious, but you're, you obviously love them because you specialize in them. I do. So yeah. it's got to be interesting. So you've got to find the interesting pieces that are going to tie into your audience. But what you really need to do is look for the problem that they have that you solve. Or a way of demonstrating your expertise for that problem that they have. Okay. Uh, apart from scrolling through and stalking people on LinkedIn companies, what other ways can we find ideas or content? Find ideas for content. Okay, so the easiest way, I, I believe, is looking inside, go inside deep bridge, um, go inside your business. What do people consistently ask you about your business? Now you, have, you might be having a, a conversation with someone, you've caught up for coffee and you've got that sales meeting. What do they ask you? What do, what, what do they want to know more about? Right, you know, okay. Those sorts of things. So once you've answered those three questions, what else do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Looking for questions, if you do produce um, content elsewhere, what people are asking. So frequently answered, frequently frequently, asked. not answered, frequently asked <laughs> questions are your first source. Um, second is using tools online. Such as? Such as. Well, if we'll use the first tool, which is super, super easy, is Google. Yes. Or even YouTube. So that predictive text. So when you start typing things in, what else does... Um, what is it? Autofill. Yeah. Now, obviously, you've got to you've got to go so far to actually add some context. So, mm. you know, how to do blah blah blah. You know, how to create a a contract or something, or how to create something to do with law. And then once you've actually got that search results as well, down the very bottom, you've got the similar searches. So look at all that for what else people are asking, and same in YouTube. But I'm talking. If you weren't Bob, I mean, Reg knows all this stuff, so Bob should yeah. speak to Reg about YouTube, anyways. Yep. So that's number two. Now, number three is actually using tools that are designed for this purpose. So one of them is Quora. So Q-U-O-R-A, yep. Quora.com. It's a site where you can, as a user, you get to ask questions and people answer them. So where this is a goal for content creation is that if you look to the questions around a particular topic, and then you answer them in your content, in your posts on LinkedIn. Okay, so if I, can I post um, and rather than just answering the question in that little space, can I point them back to resources that I've created that answers it a bit more detail? So can it be a blog post or a video? Absolutely. Or do I have to keep it within that little space? No, no. So with your post on LinkedIn, you, you write the post and part of writing posts, I mean, you've got text, you've got images, you've got video content. Um, you can share links to other content to expand. So if, for instance, you've already written a blog about this or maybe you were interviewed um, on a podcast or there's a, a video interview somewhere, mm -hmm. you might want to promote that. So use that as the source. Also, that gives you extra credibility because someone else has inter interviewed you, mm -hmm. particularly a podcast. Um, so what you do in the post is you're almost summarising it and then telling people to read more and go here. So that's, right, that's, that's okay. It. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So, but then you might already have the idea. So look at, actually, then that just reminds me then, look at, Look internally what you've already got. Do a bit of a content audit. What do you already have? What have you published previously that could be repurposed as a post on LinkedIn? So there you go. 
Uh, other tools, you've got things like Reddit, um, which is another place to source yeah. content from, or content ideas. Content ideas. So yeah. would you say you follow or subscribe? You could follow these things and subscribe. <laughs> Stop the press. <laughs> Joe, do you realise I checked the stats on the last video. Oh yeah. 50% mm. are subscribed, 50% nice. are not, that oh. watched our videos. Okay, and so, what, do, what does that mean to what, us? Well, it means that we've got people who are not subscribed that like to watch our videos. Oh. So, there's a little button down here, isn't there usually on this side? There is, yeah. Why don't you just click that and then subscribe? Magic And happens. if you are a subscriber and not watching their videos, I'm not happy. I'm going to send Reg over with yes, his cranky pants on. Yes, my cranky pants on, they'll be pulled really high. So, <laughs> if you subscribe, make sure you're watching. And if you're watching and not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Yes. Reddit. Excellent. So Reddit is another source of um, content inspiration. Um, and then the, another one is answer the public. Yes, I didn't realise. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. When you said that earlier on, I thought you meant that's just, you know, as I stupidly <laughs> said, open the window and shout out to everybody. But yeah. This is an actual... It's a website. It's a website. It's, it's a destination. Answerthepublic.com. Um, you go there. There's a guy... Um, a video of a guy in the background of, of, just waiting. He's just really obviously waiting. He's fascinating to watch. But once you've got over him and you've watched him um, watching Waiting For You, type in a topic. It's getting a bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> it is a bit weird. It's very weird. But it's very entertaining. Like... Very entertaining. Um, <laughs> so you put in your topic and it spits back um, a bit of a mind map. Of, it's, it's in a circle under the how, who, why. So any question around that topic that sort of fits into those categories. Uh, okay. And then you just, you can go to town and answer all those questions then through your posts, through your content. So that's, that's that one. Right, okay. Um, the other one was Buzzsum. Buzzsumo. Buzzsumo or Buzzfeed? No, Buzzsumo. Buzzsumo, I think I said it was. Yeah. Um, Buzzfeed's a different app. It's like a yes, website. Yes, Buzzsumo. Buzzsumo. So that gives you what's trending right now on social media, what people are responding to, so you can look there for ideas as well. So there are a few tools. Awesome. Okay, so that's mm. worth two thirds of the way there. Mm. Um, I understand that I've got to produce content, and I understand um, what to post in regards to um, what my ideal clients after, the problems that I solve that they have type of thing. Yep. But, Let's get to the good bit. Okay. <laughs> How do I write it though? Because that's yes. what voice do I have? How do I frame it, put it yeah. in the context? Now, keeping in mind you're a lawyer. Now, you don't want to write in lawyer speak on LinkedIn. You've got to think about who's your audience. If it's other lawyers who are, you know, academic and, and know all the ins and outs and the terminology, absolutely knock your socks off. That's probably not the place to do it though. If you're trying to connect to your ideal clients, you've got to speak in their language. So you've got mm. to speak in a voice that they're going to understand. Now your best voice to take on LinkedIn is your voice that is you your speak deep professional with. Voice? Yes. Um, speak as you, write as you speak. Mm. Now if you speak very long winded words, then maybe change how you speak. <laughs> but mm -hmm. how do you speak to your ideal clients in a meeting? You've got to speak differently to them, to, to someone who knows the insides and the outsides of law. Yeah, I, I, I that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying, you know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, so write, write in a conversational manner. Um, and write with my formula. Right. EQ, Finally, we're getting there. EQ plus IC squared. That's how you should write. E cubed plus IC squared. Yeah, that's it. Right. What's the cubed three? I, what does E3 <laughs> mean? So the E cubed um, is essentially three E. So you've got your content can either educate, mm -hmm. enlighten, or evoke emotion, which is a double oh. E, but we're going to call it one E. So people read my posts and then start crying. Is that a good thing? <laughs> <laughs> if you want them to, if you're trying to no, tap probably into not. some... Probably not. No. So if you can do all three, great, but sometimes your stuff right. is not emotional, but you know. No. But the part of being emotional or evoking emotion is entertaining, so if you can be funny. Well, you don't have to be funny, but I think but, that's, you know, just, just be you. Be yourself, yeah, you know, exactly. Don't be worried um, about things. So that's the EQ plus IC, no, IC okay. squared. No, no, so, so the IC squared part. So the first IC, so IC, there's IC and there's IC. So the first IC, I see. <laughs> the first IC is to index your content, which is to use hashtags, and that's a whole other topic. But giving LinkedIn an indication as to what, what, your top, your, what your post is about to match up to the audience's interests, as in the hashtags they follow. That will help you show up in the feed. 
The second I see is to invite conversation. Oh, How do you do right. that? Do you know, Reg? Ask questions? Yes! yes. He listened. We had a briefing and he was paying attention. Phew! I thought we were sleeping. So invite um, conversation through asking a question. It's the simplest thing you can do. It sounds so basic, but... If you look at the posts that people write, they just don't. Yeah, it's the whole talking at rather than to, isn't it? Eggs. I or love with. it when you listen to me, Reg. <laughs> so do I. Talking with. Like with. With. With, with. Yeah. yeah. So you're inviting them and giving them permission. Because some people are introverts or just don't await to, you know, to be asked an opinion. Yeah, so yeah. if you don't ask a question, they might read your content, they might think it's fantastic. So that visibility-wise, they've seen it. They trust you. But unless they actually engage with you, they're not telling LinkedIn they're interested in your content and they're not exposing your content to their to network, them, yeah, which is yeah. the, where the superpower is. Yeah. So that's how to write better content on LinkedIn that will get people to engage with you. So that's the superpower formula. That is a superpower formula. Yeah. And I'm going to assume that's on your website somewhere? It sure is. I've got a blog, in fact. A uh, whole blog, so that will be in the description All below. So yeah. if you want to dive deep, unpack, drill down, <laughs> I suggest you go and have a we read the blog. We love buzzwords here, don't we? <laughs> I suggest you go visit that blog yeah. post. Excellent. Thank you very much, Joe. That was awesome. We're going to be back in two weeks' time with more LinkedIn gold. Yes. So I suggest that you subscribe and tune in next time. We'll see you then.